on deck today, the Dragon's Heart guitar pick. Take a look at this. Let me zoom in for you a little bit. Notice the unique shape and the unique design. Here's a regular Dunlop Sharp and a Dragon's Heart pick. So they're not very dissimilar in terms of overall size. Um, they are different in terms of features. Notice the bevel that surrounds the entire pick. Now, I pick with this pointed part that comes off up here to my left. But you could pick, if you wanted, with this rounder part down here. So for rhythm parts, this part of the pick, which is beveled as well, actually makes a really good picking point. Now for lead stuff, this part here makes a really nice picking surface because it's very small. So sort of like the uh, Dunlop Sharp, the actual picking area is pretty similar in size. What's really different is how you hold the thing, okay? So, say you grab the pick in your standard fashion. All right, that's the way I hold the pick. Now, when you grab it like this, the pick is actually sort of at an angle forward. This really helps, believe it or not, when you're striking the string. Notice the bevel of the pick angle now beveled on both sides to a point. This reduces the point of contact with the strings. Basically what that means is you have to spend less time actually hitting the string and your recovery time, the time basically to re, you know, focus and re-attack the string is reduced. So basically um, these help you to play faster. They remind me of a pick that I used a long time ago called the stylus pick which was a training pick that you buy. It comes with a little booklet and it helps you to learn how to alternate pick. Well, the problem with that pick is you could only use it for single string work. It was just a training pick. But this pick you can use for chords, for whatever. It'll use, you know, on anything. Now, again, you can use it like this. For meaty rhythm stuff, that works really well. For lead stuff, like this is perfect. Now, if you're holding a, say, a Dunlop Sharp, which I use a lot, the pick angle comes out about like that, right? See? Pretty standard. Believe it or not, I have noticed when using this pick at this angle that I'm actually able to play in a more precise, more controlled, and faster manner. And that's got to be, uh, for me, the one uh, thing these things really bring to the table is they allow your hand to basically play a little faster. So if you're struggling with your speed and with your precision a little bit, I would definitely say get a few of these. They run about $10 each. Now there are three different versions of this pick. You'll be thinking, well, what are the differences? Basically, um, there's only one thickness. They're all the same size. They're all the same shape. The difference is basically the formulation of the materials. So on the website, you can get into the details of it, but essentially they're slightly different in terms of what they're made of. This results in a slight difference in tone in each pick, right? Some are a little brighter, some are a little darker. Um, so it ends up being a matter of personal preference as to which one you like. I like the one that they call the fast pick. There's a shocker. <laughs> but the differences between them are fairly subtle. So really, you could get any of them and get the benefits from it. So if you are trying to work on your alternate picking, especially if it's something you just come into, grab one of these. It will seriously help you. It will help you train your hand to pick properly, which I gotta say, I really wish that was around when I was learning it because it would have been a huge help. <laughs> so anyway, quick demo, gonna do some picking. So muting the strings, right, and picking, very small pick surface. This helps you to speed up. Right? Really precise, controllable pick. So, like I said, if you're starting to get into alternate picking, or if you've already been doing it for a while, get one of these. It will help train your hand in efficient movement. Right? You can go back to using your other pick if you want to later. You might not want to, but definitely try these.